Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. Now, you can't really tell where I am, but I'm actually talking to you from Dallas, not as in Texas, where uh, J.F. Kennedy was assassinated or where J.R. Ewing came into our stream of consciousness in 1978. But the small village in Moray, Scotland, population of around 150 to 201. Well, just as Dallas, the TV programme was a saga, the Debenhams debacle continues with Michael James Wallace, Wallace Ashley offering to underwrite a £150 million rights issue for Debenhams, but only if it appoints him chief executive. Now, I won't mention the word saga too much, as some of you are still a bit sore after the stock's 40% plunge last week after the company issued a profits warning blaming the company's insurance division. A lot of billboarders saying the stock might recover if the chief executive is replaced just as the chairman and finance director have been. Well, Saga aims its services at the over 50s. That's the desired demographic of retirement home builder McCarthy and Stone. We get half year results from them on Wednesday. Now, the Sunday Times says we should be prepared to hear about initiatives such as wine clubs. So McCarthy and Stone is literally turning to drink. Another perk to be introduced, according to the Sunday Times, is online GP booking, which I suppose in a way is related to the uh, wine club encouragement. Uh, McCarthy and Stone wants its residents to live life to the full. So I suppose the days of tea and cake may soon be a thing of the past. Also on Wednesday, we hear from ASOS, or as seen on screen last week, the company caused complete outrage amongst its YouTube celebrity stars, suggesting that people wear items once and then return the clothing. So it is getting tough on repeat. Returners, note to self. Tesco 2 reporting on Wednesday full year results from the supermarket chain. According to Kantar, it's losing market share. So will more exciting benefits from its club card be that loyalty scheme that makes its customers stick and not price check and ultimately be disloyal? Thursday, we hear from High Street stalwart W. H. Smith. The Sunday Times again says, look out for the proportion of revenue being made from its travel business. In January, the Times wrote that the company was stockpiling six months worth supply of pens, notepads and diaries just in case there was Brexit disruption. Who would have thought? Now, expect some frisky action at AGMs this week. Uh, this Thursday at the 11th hour on the 11th day, we'll be hearing from UCOP. There's been a fair amount of controversy to those opposed to its Horse Hill development, known as the Gatwick Gusher. Expect security at that AGM. And this Friday, expect rebellion in Spain. Santander shareholders still very cross that the bank was considering a 40 million euro golden hello to UBS's Andrea Ocel as its incoming chief executive. Major investors are very unhappy with the bank's remuneration committee. And as you can see from the agenda, there's plenty to talk about. But what's happened to Andrea? Has he been left out? in the cold. Well, hopefully you're warm and well. I'm off to lasso me some Dallas red. Until next week.